name is Chris Lipp. I'm the pastor of missions here at McKinney. It's a tremendous role to get to serve in because it's I'm helping to help people at McKinney connect with what God's doing around the world. And as uh, on this occasion, we're sending a short-term mission team to Italy, a team of young adults, and they're going to connect with Greg and Charmaine Lillistrand, our McKinney missionary partners, who serve with Campus Crusade for Christ in Italy. Yeah, Greg is the national director of all of the Campus Crusade works in Italy. So whether it's campus ministry or community ministry or athletic ministry or family ministry or whatever that might look like, he's heading up all of that. And so he has a, a team of national Italians that are working with him and some Americans. And folks, really, it's, a, it's an international team that he gives leadership to. And so this team is going to help the work at a certain level. I'm Chris Freeland. I'm the pastor of young adults at McKinney Church. I work with young married couples and then also with the young singles ministry. We take a message that is simple and yet profound. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. It's so profound that we will mine its depths for the rest of our life and yet simple enough for a child to understand. People would think like, wow, you know, Italy is a Catholic country. It's probably, I don't know, 95% Catholic. Where 20 years ago, 30 years ago, Italy was about 95% Catholic. Now it's 40% Catholic. And of that 40% uh, Catholics, only 20% attend of that 40, only 20% would attend a Catholic Mass. And of that low 20%, there will be mostly people between 70 and 90 years old. So our whole generation today, you know, the teenagers, the young adults, the singles, the couples, are so disgusted by the Catholic Church that have no desire whatsoever. Most of them have been abused physically, sexually, by priests. What we hear on the news, it's 1% of what goes on in the Catholic Church in these countries. Uh, my name is Ryan Turner. Uh, I've been here in Florence for two years. Um, I am a graduate of Louisiana State University. Uh, born and raised in South Louisiana and uh, living here in Florence now. What shocked me most about coming to Italy is just uh, sometimes the lack of control you can feel in certain situations. Uh, you know, whether it be simple things by trying to get on the bus and trying to go out to a faculty on the other side of the city, or um, the way that Italians um, run restaurants, the way Italians do life is just, uh, it makes, uh, especially coming from the American mindset, makes you feel out of control a lot. And so uh, it's, it's stretching, it's difficult to, uh, to process sometimes if, uh, if you're not flexible and willing to be flexible. Italy is an amazing country. I didn't come because I loved art. I didn't come because I knew the language. I just kind of showed up because I wanted to live overseas and learn a new language. Um, but when I got here and I started going to galleries, painfully walking through them for hours because I don't enjoy that, I started discovering that Renaissance art, particularly in Florence, and Florence is the birthplace of the Renaissance, is really focused on the person of Christ. And so really almost any place you go in Italy, from Milan to Sicily, over to Sardinia, and you go in churches, you're going to see paintings of biblical stories, many of them focused on Jesus Christ himself. And while Christ is very real and evident in many churches, he is foreign in, in daily life to the Italian culture. So they see him on the wall, but they've never seen him any nearer than that. And so one of the, Italy has had an unbelievable Christian history, as most of us probably know. Um, Paul was in Rome, Peter was in Rome, both of them uh, were martyred there. Uh, Paul, as you know, really actually wanted to go and share the gospel before, um, before, I was about to say Nero, but that's not Paul, right, before Caesar. Paul had a passion to come to the Italian continent and or peninsula of Italy and, and share the gospel here. And um, thus, from that moment on, the gospel started going forth for on this continent. One of the unique challenges of what we are hoping to do is discussing Christianity with people 
who are jaded towards Christianity because of the way that they feel Christianity has been used to gain power and to oppress people throughout their life. And, and so many of them respond negatively to Christianity based on something that they have observed, which is truly not Christianity at its heart. Christianity is a message of a God who desires a relationship with us, a perfect God who passionately pursues prodigal people. I love the Piper quote. He says, missions exist because worship is not. I think it's Piper. The idea is that, that we were made to worship the Lord. And you know, the greatest command is that we, it reflects what worship is intended to be, is that we love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. That's, that's worship. And missions is intended to increase worship. In other words, is to help people uh, find that personal relationship with their Creator through faith in Christ and then to become lifetime worshipers of the one true God. Uh, I'm Aubrey Slaybaugh and I work at an architecture firm. We design K-12 through schools. Been doing that for about a year. And I'll be honest, one of the reasons I wanted to go to Florence was because I love the architecture and wanted the opportunity to go to Italy, but it had also been about five years since I'd been on a missions trip, and I just wanted to be reminded of the work that God is doing globally. Um, and it's because it's so easy to get caught up in our own, our own little circle that we forget what He's doing around the world. So I wanted to be reminded of that. Yeah, the lifestyle that we live is tremendously important, and the attitude with which we approach what we do is important. If we ride into Italy with the arrogance that is attributed so often to Western or to Americans. If we ride into Italy with this attitude that is so often attributed to Americans as being know-it-alls who are arrogant and who feel as though they have all of the answers without any ability to have a dialogue or a conversation with people about issues of truth, then we fight a losing battle and in the end we defame the name of Christ more than we people to a reality of a relationship with Jesus Christ. Um, the mission teams help us in uh, an incredible way. What they do for us is they basically extend our reach. Um, converse, there's 60,000 college students at the University of Florence and we are a team of eight people. Uh, and the nature of the campus, uh, in fact, that they're not central like we have in America where the uh, campus is not all located in one spot, but they're spread throughout the city. Uh, it only allows us to be on two uh, different faculties, is what they call them here. And so, uh, what the mission teams allow us to do is like, basically extend our reach. And they go out and find, talk to people, gauge their spiritual interests, and basically find people that we call hearers, people that are willing to engage in spiritual conversations. Uh, it's just something, uh, due to our, the limited resources we have on this campus, we're not able to, to do well. So these teams come in for a week, they go out on campus, they get in all the nooks and crannies and talk to a bunch of people and they basically filter out some people who are, would be interested in having spiritual conversations in the future with us. What happened in Italy is um, that through the following centuries after the, the rise of the Reformation, the Reformation didn't start here until later. They moved to Germany, Switzerland, France, so the Catholic Church still today has a hold on the people because it's not just church and religion, it's culture now. So you're Catholic because your family is Catholic, it's part of who you are, it's your DNA as an Italian. So for us now to start a ministry that breaks that down and makes them understand that it's not about religion, it's not about institution, it's about a relationship with Christ and explain to them who Christ really is and not who you think he is because of what you've been told makes makes our work really hard. And that's why Christianity is below, you know, 0.5% here in Italy.